Sports fans are gearing up at Interstate Sports, your home for officially licensed fan gear. We have jerseys, custom frames, team signs, draft tumblers, and more. For every sports fan's needs, visit interstatesportsgifts.com. The good. The bad. The ugly. The Miami Hurricanes went to North Carolina and took a defeating blow. This is the fifth year in a row that the Tar Heels have defeated the Hurricanes. This is the Good, Bad, and Ugly film review. Let's see what happened. The Good. Before we get started with the good, just want to let you know all of these videos have been demonetized by YouTube because of the footage that we use. All I'm asking for is that you hit that subscribe button and notification bell because we are on the road to 37,000 subscribers and make sure that you're one of them. Also, check out Interstate Sports Gifts for all your sports memorabilia needs. All the information is in the description. Let's get this thing rocking. Let's see what they're talking about. All right, here we go. First and, uh, I'm sorry, third and three. 11.30 in the first, North Carolina has the ball. Got to get off the field, and we do so with a great uh, pressure right there, almost an interception, but let's take a look at how this thing starts off. Right here, we got a great move right here by Ruben Bain with the double swipe. Also, can't, can't get away from this guy right here on the inside. Unblocked 81, Harrison Hunt goes in and puts the pressure on, forces them to punt. All right, second and six, 4.55 in the in the uh, first, Tyler Van Dyke has to convert this thing. What does he do? Throws a perfect little pass right there. The defender slips, but you see my man, uh, Jacoby George, take off with this deal. Let's take a look at it, man. Great blocking up front, right? Great blocking, great picking up the stunt. Boom, gets the slant inside. Holla at you. Mm, wish he could have scored on that one. All right, first and 10. 407 in the first. Let's take a look at this deal, man. Right here, Henry Parrish going to gut this deal right up the middle. Great blocking, hard running. Look at the block. You want to run up the field, I'll take you where you want to be. But here's what I love about it, right? Matt Lee comes off and gets onto the middle linebacker. Henry Parrish going to deliver the blow. Skeet! Mm! And take it for the first. First and goal for them Canes. All right, here we are. First and 10. That is after the fumble. You'll see that in the ugly. But first and 10, you're going to see right here on the back side, it's coming. This dude, Ruben Bain, is nothing but the truth. The true freshman out here. Look at this. Come here, man. Mm. Man had over 70 sacks or something like that in high school. Unfortunately, guess what? We couldn't recover this ball. It definitely would have been a touchdown. Couldn't recover it. But again, heads up play right there uh, by Nigel Lee Kelly to stop him from going any further. Great job by Ruben Bain. Second and five, 147 in the first. Here we are again. Mama, there go that man again. Uh, let's take a look at this. Nigel Lee Kelly comes in. Let's look at this play right here. Nigel Lee Kelly on the stunt. He's going to come right inside, which is great. You're going to see Harrison Hunt out here. But unfortunately, Drake May, May makes him take a knee like we should have done last week. But that's all right. And anyway, we end up getting it, getting a sack right there for the deal. Love it. Third and 17. You know what time it is. Get off the football field. That's exactly what we do at Cam Kitchens up the gut. Listen, perfect time. He walks it, catches the snap, catches the cadence. But I want to show you the end zone cut, why this play is so special. And my man Kiko actually makes the play, but he doesn't make the tackle. Let's take a look at the end zone cut of this deal. You're going to see this is Cam Kitchens. He's going to time it. You're going to have a blitz here in the A gap, B gap, C gap, right? B gap, C gap. But watch what Kiko does that opens this and puts him in conflict. Watch this. Kiko could have simply come in here like most linebackers would have because this is where the quarterback is. But what does he do? He runs through this shoulder, which opens it up, and there's nobody left to block this guy. Because if he goes in here, it would have forced Drake May to do what? Escape out the pocket and run away from camp. Boom. Perfect right here. This is perfect. Look at this. He walks straight through. Wish we would have had a little edge right here, but that's okay. Perfect sack right there, man. Golly, that's perfect. Second and eight. You're going to see a great kind of little pit concept, a rub concept right here with, I think that's Riley Williams and these guys. 
with, with Restrepo. Right, they're playing man. He has him. He get caught up, caught up in the wash. Easy pitch and catch, man. Let's take a look at this deal one more time. Oh. All right, kind of hesitate like you run the out, out and up, touchdown. Twenty three is stuck in the pit. Done with X factor. Oh, here we go. Perfect look at it. So watch Riley Williams. He gets caught in the mesh. They all playing man. He knows he's going up top. Easy pitch and catch. Uh, I saw you, Sebastian. Make it happen. Third and seven. Got to keep the sticks moving. Man, come on. Y'all can say what y'all want about X Factor. But look, this dude knows where the sticks is. And here's what I like. I don't know if he did or didn't, but he used the referee. Kind of went around him and caught up in that deal. We can say what we want. He's not open. He's short of the sticks. Give it to me now. And he's going to catch the ball. All right, here we go. Second and 13. Here's a great run of play. One of the biggest run of plays we've had probably all season and the most explosive run of play. Look at this deal, and you're going to see an end zone cut of this, especially with Matt Lee and the guard. They're the ones set this deal off. Let's take a look at it from this side of it. Right here. Matt Lee, I believe this is Cohen. Watch how they work this combo right here. Boom. But watch Matt Lee get his hips around. Get his hips around. Come on, man. That's top notch. Work him out. Receiver right here cracks. And now he's off to the race. Now watch what happens. He allows Cohen to go up and get this linebacker. Makes him miss. And now they off to the races, man. Great job. That's what you want to see. Fourth and two. 643 in the second. You got to convert this deal. All right. All right. Go with a pass. They load it up. But here's right here. Tyler Harrell is going to come back on this little crossing concept. And, and uh, TVD extends the playbook, finds the open guy. Let's take a look at it from the beginning. And it's kind of weird what I saw Tyler Hero do. I saw this in the game. He's dragging, right? And he's trying to get underneath this guy. But when he went underneath him, it threw me off. I have to be very honest with you. I thought he should have come out here to try to get it. But he gets under there, then he comes out on top. Why that is, I don't know. But great job. Enough for the first. <laughs> Keep this chains moving. And that's another Canes first down. 526 in a second, second and five. Let's go, man. We moving. We driving this thing. Uh, takes a shot to the face, but drops a Tyler Van Dime. Let's go back and take a look at this deal, right? Let's look at the blocking. It's basically they, they had they're showing four. All right, we got five, we got six. So we got the blocking so far as the numbers. Right here, Cohen, I believe, makes a big fatal mistake. You always taught. If your man goes away, somebody else is coming inside, okay? He went away. He started to look this way, and you see him coming, but he stayed this way too long, and again, he has it. So now, Van Dyke has to make this throw. Here's something else that's very interesting. Look at Restrepo. He's covered, but he's pointing to Tyler Van Dyke. Hey, throw it here. He's open. Leave me alone. He's open. But look at three. Look at Jacoby George. He's still going on the, on the wheel route. He hasn't even turned yet, and he know he, he's, he's on borrowed time. Takes the face shot up the thing. Perfect. Th My God, perfect throw, man. But that's interesting. This right here is telling me a guy that knows the playbook, man. This dude know he's open right now. Look at him pointing. Come on, man. All right. Mm. Shot in the face. Touchdown, Kings. Let's go, baby. Throw up that you. First and 10, 28 seconds left in the half. All right, it's tied up right now. Good pocket, no pressure, all the time in the world, but what an amazing catch right here by again, number three, Jacoby George. But look at the protection here, right? Perfect. Got time in the pocket, slides a little bit, but look at this catch. Mm. Oh, let's see if we got an end zone cut of this snag right here. I believe I do. Look at this throw. Kind of thrown behind him a little bit. But look at this snag. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Woo. And got to give Boy Gales his love. Takes us in the half up 17 to 14. Canes were rolling. All right, here we are. Second and 10, 958 in the third. Man, look at this. Oh, get some. Look at this blitz combo right here. Uh, 
with Kiko Maui Goa coming off around the edge. You're going to see them stun inside. Jafar Harvey, I believe that's Harrison Hunt. They stun inside. Now they're outnumbered. He's looking the wrong way. Doesn't see it. Uh, big punishing hit. Love it. Third and six, 10, 30 in the fourth. All right. Got to get this thing going. Let's get down the field. Got to get the sticks. Look at this snag by Bashar Smith, boy. Right? Another dead concept right here. Easy. But look at the snag, y'all. Okay? Again, we talk about it, right? Pretty much got to get beyond the sticks. Not beyond the sticks. <laughs> Definitely not beyond the sticks. He's the only receiver beyond the sticks. Mm. Wow. I wish I would see more of Brashad Smith, number zero, in there. Second 11, 925. Canes are down 38 17. Look at this right here. Pick up 64. Had some struggles. But this is what I love about Tyler Van Dyke, what he did. Stepped up in the pocket. Boom. Good little chip block right here. But look at this. Delivers another dime right here to Brashad Smith. I thought he was going to be able to step up out of this, man. But great way to convert that deal. All right, third and one. You're going to see, I believe this is A.J. Allen. Got to be able to convert this. Great job. It is clogged up in here. Get outside. He has the first, but I want to make this observation. You got the block here. You see the concept. Keep riding it, riding it, riding it. Stick your foot in the ground and get outside. I don't know why he all... It's something about A.J. Allen likes to cut back on guys. I don't think he realized these guys are hunting on the inside as well. If you stick your foot in the ground and get back outside, you have way more room and possibly can outrun some guys. But when all these dudes in here living in, inside, look at this. Stick your foot, now stick it back outside. And that's something I think the Canes are missing. The running back that has that and the burst ability to get up out of that. I don't even know if burst ability is a word. But uh, come on, AJ. Fourth and 10, 719 in the fourth. Y'all keep saying what y'all want to say about <laughs> Tyler Van Dyke and Restrepo. They productive. Look at this. Who's open? Who's open? Y'all want them to throw it to somebody else, and I'm cool with it. Throw it to somebody else. Who's open? Who's open? He ain't even really open. Who's open? Who else is open? Look what this dude does. Acrobatic, like universal soul circus out here. Look at this catch. Man, this man did a double somersault with a twist. To catch that ball diving in the in the pool, man. Oh, man, look here. I hear you. All right, first and 15, 225 in the fourth. The Canes were trying to make a comeback. Let's give it to the youngster out here, Rashad Smith, which he ain't really all that young, but he's definitely a speedster. My goodness. Let's look at the slot action. He's here in the slot. Gives him the hezzy. Ha-ha. <laughs> Holla at you. Perfect ball. Doesn't have to hesitate. Drops it right in the bread basket. High stepping in the end zone. And that's it for the good. Now let's get to the bad. The bad. All right, here we are with the bad. 12-22 in the first, third and 10. Got to get off the field. Unbelievable, man. Love ankle juice everywhere. Come on, linebacker. Who is that? Is that Wesley Besaint? Come on, man. Go pick up your ankles. Aisle five. Unbelievable, man. Got to be more cautious. When you have running quarterbacks, they can hurt you. All right, second and eight, uh, nine, ten left in the first. Got some good work, forced him out the pocket. But this right here was just terrible, man. And right here, Jaden Davis kind of bites on the double move. As you can see, him kind of idle down. It's kind of out of frame. But he hits him with the scramble drill, right? Short goes deep, deep comes back. And if you're going to make that play, run through him and get the pass interference. Because 15 yards is just, there it is. He comes back. If you're going to do it, run through him, hold him, snatch him down, whatever you got to do. But we can't have this right here. Great job by Cam Kitchens coming, saving the touchdown. Second and six, 8-24 in the first. Come on, y'all. And here's what I was saying, and I'm going to go back here to our interior guys. Let's take a look at this. Ruben Bain works him with the double swipe. Perfect. But he makes this spin inside. So now you've lost this lane. This is his eject button right here. If you stay here and work, he has to now funnel through this. Plus, you know you got guys here. And I don't know if he definitely knows that, but he should know that. Okay? 
And once you do that, you get stuck up here. I'm not sure who that is. But by that time, guess what? That dude is too fast, too athletic. He's going to make you pay and move the chains. First and 10, 801 in the first. This right here just unacceptable, man. You got the, the running back of Marion Hampton just kind of cutting it. And, and let's take a look at this deal. We make the shift. Corey Flagg, come on. You my dog, underdog king. And I get it. You saw the H back kind of come this way, but you overloaded it. Because remember, look at the defense. They're here. They're all slanting this way. Come on. Before you know it, he catches a seam to Corey Couch. You got to come in here and make a play, right? Mm. Bad business. 432 in a second. Come on, y'all. Oh, end around here, man. And this dude, I don't know how in the world this dude, Walker, you know, I get it. You may not know about him at the beginning, but as he's playing, it is what it is. Also, we have to alert things. We got to get used to formation alerts. He's this type for a reason. Now, I don't expect you to call out, you know, the reverse or the end around, but definitely, hey, alert somebody to cross and look how tight he is. All right. And they seal us inside. Look at this. Just through alignment, we get sealed inside. Just through alignment. And by the time whoever this is, who is this coming up? Number two, Daryl Porter. It's too late, man. Got to be able to recognize things through formation. Third and 10, 457 in the third. Guys, what are we doing? First of all, poor tackling. Poor tackling. Right? But let's look at the concept here. We got one, two, three. They bring a guy out late. Again, this is our defensive end. We got Ruben Bain dropping back. All right. Not his forte. I mean, I get the concept, but Ruben Bain dropping back in space like this, I'm not a fan of it. But anyhow, and come on, uh, Davis. I need you to eat a power pellet or something, man. Unacceptable. Fourth and 10. Got to be able to convert this deal. Bro, there. You know. Here it is, Tyler Van Dyke. Now I'm feeling I have to get on you. All right, I know you love your roommate. Nah, I'm with you. But at the same time, it's fourth and 10. Let's look at this deal. You got a guy open right here. He's beyond the sticks right here. You, I don't know why, where and why we're throwing this ball. He's not open, but he is open. You got to make that throw, brother. You got to. You got to. You know, I get it. And that's it for the bad. <laughs> Let's get to the ugly. The ugly. All right, Canes fans, hold on to your seat. Grab you a, a cup of your cane juice because this might get a little teary eye. 630 in the first third and goal. All right. Remember, third and goal. They're on the 18 yard line. Third and goal. I want to talk about this play a little bit. As you see, uh, and, I, and I know the play happens down here, but I want to look up here to kind of talk you through this. As you see this, you're going to see Jafari Harvey drop out, and he's going to buzz underneath the number one. You're going to see here a combo inside right here. I believe that's Wesley Besaint. He has top and outside. In here, let's look at it. He's got underneath. This is James Williams. All right, and that's Cam Kitchens. Right here, you see Corey, to Corey Couch look back and that's huge I tell fans all the time when somebody gets beat look at how they react that tells a lot so let's look at it what should have happened to Corey Couch is here what you should have had is Cam would have had the inside of number two he has the outside of number two he's locked up it's what they call bracket coverage right here Kiko or whoever this is would have been locked up by himself Jafar Harvey's going to buzz and you're going to get an inside I mean you're going to get a, a, a between these two they're going to bracket this guy. And then what James is doing right here is what they call a low hole player. He's just sitting right here kind of catching anything uh, uh, seeping through. But unfortunately, these two are doing the same thing. And, and I hate to say this to Corey Couch before the ball is even thrown. Look, he already got his arm out. Like, come on, dog. Where you at, bro? Now, I'm only in, I'm only assuming this. I'm only speculating that's the play. I'm not in the playbook. I'm not in at practice. But hey, you got to have help. Here we go. Corey catches outside for any corner routes. 
Cam should have been maybe inside leveraging number nine right here. Instead, he kind of gets caught up in no man's land. And before you know it, you see Takori Couch look back. Amazing. I know I spent some time on it, but I had to. Fourth and one. This is going to get a little crazy, and I want to make sure I clean this up because there was a lot of talk about the Lance Guidry, defensive coordinator Lance Guidry's penalty. There seems to be some dismay here amongst the defense trying to get set up. That's Lance Guidry walking out right here. Okay, that's the defensive coordinator walking out right here. Fourth and one. He gets the flag. Okay. I'm going to explain. I got a sideline cut of this. And I want people to understand why this happened. Some people say, oh, well, Coach Cristobal called a timeout and he thought. That's not the truth. Okay. Here is Lance Guidry right here. Here is Mario Cristobal right here. You're going to see Lance Guidry. Look. Time out. This is Mario Cristobal. Again, assistant coaches don't get they don't get recognized as people who call timeout unless he designates that Mario Cristobal designates it. Watch when they, this referee right here gives the timeout. When you see Mario Cristobal go to this ref, then he's going to acknowledge the timeout. He is now yelling to a ref timeout somewhere back here. Timeout, timeout. Now you see Mario Cristobal going to him timeout. Now he blows the whistle timeout, okay? Watch what Lance Guidry does. He's throwing his helmet, his, his, his stuff down, and he's fussing at this referee. This is why he got the penalty. I understand, and I get it, but that's why he got the penalty right there, okay? People don't want to understand that and seem that, and that's why he got it, because he's fussing, and he's all the way out here on the field, and they just called the timeout, okay? So I want people to see that, and again, assistant coaches do not get recognized as people who call timeout. Only players on the field and the head coach. All right. And so apparently Mario Cristobal heard him, right? Screaming timeout, timeout, timeout. See, watch. He's screaming timeout, timeout, timeout. Then he gives it to him over here. Okay. So I just want to be clear. And that's going to be huge. That gives them the first down and they go ahead and score off of it right here on this next play. Third and one, overload, walks in, easy touchdown. I don't have to go through and talk about that. That's crazy. All right, here we go. Third and two, 1356 in the third. Got to get off the football field, ladies and gentlemen. We in zero coverage, pretty much. We in zero coverage. They see that third and two. Right here. Come on, y'all. Come on, pass interference. Again, I'd rather that instead of six, but pass interference. We got to be better, better than this, Davis, and you are better than this unacceptable second and nine Davis they're gonna go right back to you and blow his doors off just bad coverage then he jumps I always tell you never jump for a ball right he tries to undercut and he jumps now walks right in easily you got the cushion make it happen God leave me all right People, where's the safety help? Well, there is no safety help. They're in quarters right now. They're in quarters. Okay. Bad business, bro. That's like playing catch in the backyard, man. First and 10, 10 44 in the third. <sighs> you got an errant snap. And unfortunately, you know, the snap was way to the left. Okay, he couldn't handle it, but when he goes to get it back, I believe Matt Lee's foot kicks it, and I'll take a look at it here in a second. Unbelievable. Look at that, way to the left, and you see right here. He goes to pick it up, he would have gotten it, but Matt Lee's foot kicks it. I mean, the ball just did not bounce our way that night. Just did not bounce our way that night. And here go the stare down interception by Tyler Van Dyke. All right. Let's look at the concept. Seven is actually open. No, he doesn't throw it to him. It's first and 10. He's looking at this concept. He should have actually thrown it here to seven. That time would have been great. But he throws it here and 33 gray slides right up underneath it. Just watching his eyes. I don't know how Tyler Van Dyke doesn't see the baby blue out there against that green. Unfortunately, he doesn't see it. Throws a pick. And that's what it is. All right, third and 20, 
Coach Chris Ball had an opportunity to, t to make it second and 30. I personally would have made it third and 20. No big deal. Get him off the field. But let's go in and give up the touchdown. Right down the middle of the gut. Amazing to me, man. Amazing to me. Let's look at this deal. You're going to see him post it kind of, it's what they call a dagger route right up inside. He's going to knife. going to be a guy clearing this out, and he's going to actually come right up underneath it. And then you see they just get the mismatch. Nine pulls through the tackle. James Williams missed, doesn't miss the tackle, but it is what it is, man. So unfortunate. Third and seven. <sighs> come on, man. Maui go, and I know he's a freshman, but we need this. Can't give up the two-hand swipe. He leans around there, gets the sack. Nothing he can do about it. Bad business. Bad business. First and goal. Little old school play action boot. Right? 20, who is this? 20 gets caught up with his eyes. That's James. I would assume that's his guy because he's got this first guy here. You got two of them out here. Maybe 22 should have been. I don't know where he was going. God, Lee Davis. Davis. If you think that. They played it well over here. Miscommunication by whose man this is. I, I don't even have an answer because I don't, you know. Jeez, we is. First and 10, 143 in the third. Let's go. 64 just gives up the sack. Hit him with the double hand swipe. Watch him get skinny. Right at 25, comes around the corner again. He's on the other side this time. Crazy. A simple pass protection 34 yard field goal attempt by them just ugly kicks it right down the gut makes it 41 17. all right second and nine i mean guys what are we talking about here what are we talking about we got the reduction safety cool but we reduce outside fine i have no problem he's supposed to take care of the zone read I'm not mad at Jane, but look at the clog here, right? Who's the linebacker getting Peter roll right here? Corey flag. God dang it. God, put him in it. Put him in the hole. You picking a side. You got to put him right back in this hole because that's exactly where he God dog, man. And Cam Kitchen takes a bad angle. We off to the races. Luckily, we got good foot speed and he doesn't, but he takes that thing for a long run. Jeez. And that sets him up with, again, the defense played well, right? Set him up, didn't get let him score. You know, gave up three, but didn't let him score. 29 seconds left here in the deal. First and five, give up another sack. The number, this is third sack of the game. Number 25 is third sack. Easy swipe. Uh. Come on, bro. This is this dude's his third sack of the game, not the team. His. And here we go. Last play of the game. Trying to at least cut this deal down some. And Tyler Van Dyke kind of just throws it up. He, of course, he gets the interception. He goes against his record, but just trying to make a play. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the good, bad, and the ugly. This is the second loss for the Miami Hurricanes in ACC play. Next week, they take on the Clemson Tigers at home at Hard Rock. Coach will be there. So if you see me, holler at me. Also, check out interstatesportsgifts.com. All the information is in the description for all your sports memorabilia needs, as well as hit that like, subscribe button, and notification bell so you have all the content that comes out because we're on the road to 37,000 subscribers. So make sure you're one of them. And Coach Hazel, catch you at the 50-yard line. Peace.